Greetings, unsettled souls. Go! Welcome to the correct views. Oh, this, this, this is disgusting. What I'm about to show you is enough to make you sick. Look at this. Oh, but Sam, that's American Heroes. No, it's not. I wish it was. What did we predict yesterday? Well, why is the show called the, cor called the Correct Views? Well, it kind of makes fun of the view, which is never correct. But because we're right. Because, right armed to the teeth, Taliban mocks West. That would be us. With ISIS-style propaganda video, which means it was produced decently with a fair amount of money, showing fanatics tooled up in stolen U.S. military gear. Now, if there is any positive uh, to be taken away from this, it's the fact that the pride comes before the fall. There's nobody who's learned that more than I have. We ain't even going to get into it. Um, we're going to have to pay for this. I mean, ICE has paid for it repeatedly. Remember the prisoner they captured? And they thought they were going to put him up front and humiliate him. And instead, he started talking Morse code with his eye blinks. Blew them out of the sand. Wasn't a turban left behind. Um, remember the time they spent a whole bunch of money on producing videos to mock the West? And not only did they run out of enough money to even feed their own fighters, but they managed to put enough things in the background. And uh, through landscape analysis, the U.S. military was able to blow everything away. There wasn't even camel fur left. Pride comes before the fall, friends. And they're mocking us with all the equipment, which I, I predicted was going to happen. They're mocking us, and I'm not proud of it. I'm very depressed by it, by the way, before you turn my words against me. I wish that I wasn't right. Um, there they go. Taliban, dressed in American gear. U.S. MK rifle, U.S. Special Forces helmet, protective earwear, camouflage, body armor, the sun. Taliban propaganda channels are showing brazen fanatics tooled up in the streets of Kabul in what appears to be stolen U.S.-made military gear. Oh, that might have been... Well, who said that? Oh, yeah, it was the correct views. He mentioned that might happen. The ISIS-style video shows troops armed to the teeth with modern military equipment. Imagine that. Rather than the militant signature AK-47 slung over their shoulder. In other words, they're deliberately putting their weapons down to mock us by showing that they have our weapons, including, as you can see, our tactical radios. Well, Sam, how could that have been prevented? I'm glad you asked. I'm very glad you asked. It could have been prevented by at least destroying all of the equipment before we left. Does America have any explosives? I mean, I just told the story about how ISIS put too many things in the background uh, and the military was able to shh, right? Right, why didn't we shh all of this before we left it behind? I can tell you why, because one, they want this to happen, and we've gone into that before, but two, we don't have good leadership. We don't have leadership that's interested in us. We have leadership that is interested in allowing this to happen. The Hegelian dialectic, if you will. They create the problem, and then they come in to solve the problem, and all the sheep praise them for coming to help. It's that simple, friends. It's how you keep control. Has no one read Machiavelli? The Taliban slick propaganda film of a unit called the Soldiers... Uh, Badri 13, excuse me, Badri 313 Brigade. It warns that their formidable squadron would be on the streets of Kabul and guarding the presidential palace. The unit is reportedly highly trained and equipped with state-of-the-art military equipment. Imagine that. 
The unit is reported, excuse me, but their gear appears to be suspiciously like that used by the U.S. equipped Afghan Special Forces. And I'm not a Joe Biden fan. Anybody that watches this knows that I think he's, I mean, I thought Obama was bad. I thought Carter was bad. Good Lord. God, I hate to say this. Biden was right about one thing. They had the weapons. People keep saying that the Afghan army didn't have the weapons. Yes, they did. They didn't stand up and fight for their country. Now, maybe there were problems with food delivery and fuel delivery and payment. But do you think the people that won the American Revolution were well-fed and well-paid? Sometimes, man, you got to stand up, and I understand that you can't do that without help, but America helped them for 20 years. They also appear, it says, to be wearing eyewear, which would help protect the eyes from explosive flashes. You mean like the explosive flashes that probably should have gone off when the military under a responsible president destroyed all of these armaments and equipment before the Taliban could acquire it? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, that, that's kind of what we meant. Yep, that, 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 that's it. Instead of the usual turban and robes, bulletproof vests over camouflage jackets and trousers are worn. They are armed with tactical M4 rifles rather than AK-47s because our country wasn't smart enough to blow them up first! Tactical radios are also seen on the newly acquired uniforms. Where'd they get the uniforms from? <laughs> According to reports on Afghan social media, the shock troops have been deployed for security purposes. Yeah, that means doing what Sharia law wants after the Taliban's lightning sweep of the country. You can read the rest by going to the Sun News. Like Trib said, why, Trib said, why didn't we get people out of the country before we pulled the troops out? Yeah, we should have left. We should have never went. Why did we do it this way? No one knows. Why did we leave weapons behind? Which the Taliban can not only use against us, but mock us with as they threaten us. You know why? This is what nation building brings. When the nation who you are trying to help does not want your help. That's simple, friends. That is the correct use. Do me a favor. Make sure you share this. Make sure you hit subscribe. Uh, those of you finding me on YouTube, those of you finding me on Rumble, I have two of you. Uh, Opera News. I need to get you guys over there because they're not censoring the show. Good night, friends. God bless. Thank you for listening. I mean that. I mean thank you. And hit share. Hit subscribe. Get a hold of me at the correct views at Hotmail.com. You can donate through PayPal, but you don't have to. Just let me know that you're listening. 